Welcome to Gear Talk. Today we have Jesse Matus, uh, originally from out west. Out west. Yeah, where were we out west? Uh, Manitoba. Manitoba. And now he's in Kitchener, Waterloo area. And uh, we loved having you here for a session. Uh, you brought some of your guitars, which is my love. And uh, this first one is a great Canadian guitar, a La Patrie. Uh, they come from uh, the Godin Company out of La Patrie, Quebec. And uh, this is a wonderful acoustic electric classical uh, guitar. So tell us a little bit about how you found this fine guitar. <clears throat> this guitar, well, we I was in a band called Crooked Brothers, and uh, we left on tour to go to Ontario once from Manitoba. And somewhere around the Great Lakes, we realized we forgot a guitar. Oh, boy. Uh, behind, <laughs> and um, there was a long McQuaid in Sudbury, Ontario. Mm -hmm. So we stopped there and rented this guitar. And it ended up touring with us for a while. And it sounds great. It sounds great plugged in. Mm -hmm. And I just love the sound of it in general. Um, and I was talking to Luthier and... He was talking to me about big guitar making companies and they don't sort of like they don't really fine tune the the wood and the, the sound the same way a luthier would mm -hmm. um, in the same amount of detail. But there's still a chance that one out of every 20 or one out of every 50 guitars are going to sound really great. And you just end up with the right combination of things. And I, I believe that this guitar is one of those. One of those great ones. One yeah. of those great ones that sounds really amazing. Well, it uh, sounded great today. And uh, you also brought a, uh, a wonderful guitar from the, the 50s. Uh, this is a Kalamazoo. Uh, and it's inside, I read on the little label there, it's got KG1. So that's probably Kalamazoo G1 being the size of the guitar. It's a small body. Uh, it would have been made in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan at the Gibson factory. Oh, not so too far away. Tell us all about this one. <clears throat> this guitar, well, I sold my portion of a house and then bought this guitar. And mm -hmm. I bought it in Waterloo at the, uh, the Folkways Music Store there. Yeah, wonderful store, yes. And uh, uh, I don't know how much more I can say other than sometimes you play a guitar and it just fits with your style and voice. And that's, that happened for me with this one. And then it became name yours. is Alice. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a great guitar. And now, actually this one's name is Happy Mason. Happy Mason. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Now the third <laughs> guitar that you brought, you didn't play it on the, the session. I didn't. But it, it, it travels with you. And uh, you have a great love for this guitar. And it's a, uh, a classical guitar. Uh, out of uh, Mexico yeah. and I just love looking at this guitar it's uh, been well loved for many many years and you said you found it in a barber shop in a barber shop in Puerto Escondido yeah the guy had a whole bunch of guitars and that's cool and I played this one and he offered to sell it to me that's great I thought that was amazing did you get a haircut I didn't get a haircut. Didn't get a haircut, no. but you got a guitar. I got a guitar. I think that's fantastic. This is a great story and a, and a very beautiful, beautiful guitar. It looks like it's got miles and miles and miles of use on it. And I love the uh, rosette. It's all beautiful uh, inlaid pearl and almost the shape of guitar picks in a sense. It looks quite nice. Do you uh, know about uh, Paracho Michoacan? No, tell us about that. I looked up where it was made and apparently it's a, a whole town of luthiers in a uh, state in Mexico that I've always wanted to visit. Um, and this is one of them. They make really beautiful guitars. I mean, you would probably actually be able to tell me more about what's in this <laughs> guitar than me, but um, apparently that's a really amazing place for... Yeah, sounds great. Well, what a story and a beautiful guitar. Um, if you've got a second, if you could just strum it, maybe our microphone will pick it up because it's a, a deeper bodied guitar. So it's got a real good depth to it. It could tell some stories, I'm sure. Needs a tuning way. And do you have a name for this guitar too? This is Pablo. Uh, Pablo? Uh, Pablo the guitar. Very nice. And this is a little Zapatista. And this is a little Traveler. That is, uh, this one's made by uh, women in South Africa to fundraise for aid support there. Oh, that's great. And this is a Zapatista from Chambas. 
Very good. Well, thank you for sharing your instruments with us today. Uh, it's a great uh, family of guitars, and I hope you keep collecting more. Me too. Okay. Thank you for coming. <laughs>